I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. This is Elder West. Um, having some technical problems is not a big deal. Not a big deal. It is what it is. Some people might say, well, it's the devil or the devil don't want this mess to get out. I mean, it ain't the devil. It's just technology. <laughs> That's all it is, technology. And so basically, I'm going I'm I'm to get this pointing in and I'm going to talk to you from the, um, the text. Uh, and I open an experience. God is sending many of you, this word to, to some of you is prophetically. And that word is God is sending you and I open an experience. In other words, God is going to deliver. God is going to bring deliverance to you. See, many of you, you're in a prison. You're in a prison in your mind. You're in a prison in your emotions. You're bound. And that you find yourself always speaking out. You find yourself always talking. You find yourself always doing things uh, that you don't want to do. You're uncomfortable. You're in a situation. You're in a relationship. You're in a relationship. You don't want to be in that relationship. You're unhappy in that relationship. Uh, you want to get out of that relationship. But it makes sense to stay because of financially. See, but God is going to send you an eye-opening experience. And what God is going to do, God is going to give you the strength to leave and go. See, an eye-opening experience is to get to a place where you say enough is enough. An eye-opening experience, when you get to a place where your eyes come open, where at one time they were closed. And such as is life, if we look at it, uh, immaturity oftentimes can cause a person not to be able to see certain things in life. And that's just naturally so because uh, there's certain things we just don't know. We don't know, but we know what we experience. We understand what we've been exposed to, but what we're not exposed to, uh, we can't speak on it. We don't know. We don't know the direction. That's why we have to trust in God and see what God wants you to do. And it's many of you that in that prison, many of you are in an emotional prison. Some of you, you're in a, uh, a painful prison where you've been, you've been left. You've been hurt. Uh, people, uh, family members have walked away. Family members uh, pass it on. And now you're at a place where you feel numb. You feel, why are you alive? Why is useless to live? Don't nobody love me. Don't nobody care about me. And see, so I'm talking to this person right here. Now, you just broke up. The relationship, you just broke up. And so now you're at a place, now you alone. And you feel like nobody loves you and you feel like it's your fault. And so in your mind, you're going back in this situation. You're going back in the moment where the situation happened. You go back in the moment where everything fell apart. And so now in your mind, you're blaming yourself. You're blaming yourself for the mistakes. You're blaming yourself for things not working out. But I come to tell you that God is going to send you an eye-opening experience. The Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and the call according to to his purpose. And see, what you need to understand is that our mistakes, our disappointments, they're all a part of God's plan. See, because it takes a negative and a positive to generate light. And so you have to go through the negative stuff and see the negative stuff is going to cause uh, you to grow because you're going to become challenged. You're going to become hurt or you're going to become uh, uncomfortable. See, in that uncomfortable place, God, that's where God wants you to be in an uncomfortable place. See, because in that uncomfortable place, that's where God can work. Because when you're uncomfortable, you're reaching to find comfort. And see, God is the God of all comfort. And God wants to bring you out of that uncomfortable place. But uh, you must call on him. And in you calling on him, God is going to bring you out of that place in stages. He's going to bring you out of that place in time. See, the Bible says that there's a time... And season for everything. See, what you must understand is that with your every step is planned by the mind of God. And you must understand that each step that you take and each step that you make, what it's doing is getting you closer to your destination. It's getting you closer to where God wants you to be. And so it's like being on a world on this road in a journey. And in this journey, you're going to go through all kinds of things. Things are going to try to get you to stop moving forward. Things are going to get you to stop quitting. That's to get you to quit and walk away. And see, many of you that have been listening to you, been, it's been attacked. You've been attacked in your mind. There's been attack. The adversary has tried to attack your mind. And the, how he tried to attack your mind is through your heart. The Bible says that a, a, a person's foe is of his own household. See, the adversary is not going to come where you're strong, but he's going to come where you're weak. He's going to come in a place where you're sensitive. 
He's going to come in a place where you, God hasn't been, you hadn't allowed God to work on. I see, good morning, the voice. And so what God is going to do, God is going to give you strength, even in your weak place. See, because God said in your weak place that his grace is sufficient. In other words, in your weak place, God's grace, his power is there. His, he's always been there and his power is there uh, to give you strength when you need it. See, God is always there, but all God wants you to do is to tap in to strength. When you feel weak, the Bible said to them that are weak, say I'm strong. Don't say I'm weak. Don't say I can't make it. Don't be looking and, and trying to uh, crowd for people to help you. You got to, first of all, you got to learn how to help yourself. And then you learn how you help yourself. You must get to a place where you say enough. And see, God is sending many of you an eye-open experience, and an eye-open experience is enough. You're sick and tired of standing in the place that you're standing. You're sick and tired of feeling the way you're feeling. And so what God is taking you to and bringing you to a place where your eyes will become open. And see, the thing that you must understand, many people talk about the shift. You know, there's coming a move of God. Yes, the shift is here. And the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord, in the last days, that God's going to pour His Spirit. Out upon all flesh. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. Young men dream dreams and old men dream uh, see vision. And in other words, in order for God to pour his spirit out upon all flesh. In other words, flesh, the flesh or that person must uh, be aware. That person must be prepared. That person's spirit must be uh, quiet. In order for God to pour his spirit down. That person must be ready. And see, many of you, you're ready. See, because you racking, your body is racking with pain. And you've been going to toss to and fro in your life. See, many of you, you're searching uh, for love. But it seems like love is running and running away from you. Many of you, you're searching for peace. But it seems like peace is running away from you. See, but what God is going to do, God is bringing peace. And so God don't want you to move right there. See, because God is sending you an encounter. When I said that God is sending you an eye-opening experience. What God is doing, God is sending you an encounter. God is sending you an encounter where your eyes become open. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been in a situation for so long, but all of a sudden one day you woke up and said, okay, man, enough is enough. I can't be in this place. What was I thinking? Why was I here? What did I see in this situation? What did I see in this person? And see, what God is doing, God is bringing you and taking you to a place of awareness where, where you once thought, how you once thought, and how you once felt, God is removing it. It's over. God has opened your eyes up. It's almost like uh, being 20 versus 30. At 20 years old, you thought, you felt, you dealt with people a certain way. But when you became 30, as time progressed, uh, the way you felt once felt, it changed. The way you once thought, it changed. The way you once talked, it changed. And see, what God is doing also in this eye-opening experience, God is changing your perception. God has even changed how you even perceive yourself. See, many of you, many of you, many of you, you don't perceive yourself good. You don't perceive yourself with life. You don't perceive yourself uh, with positivity. And because of that, you're negative all the time. You're negative toward people because see, you're uncomfortable. You're unhappy. And because you're uncomfortable and unhappy, everything that's around you, uh, you want to bite on it. See, because you're unhappy within. See, but what God wants you to do, God wants you to open up your heart. And God is going to give you an eye opening experience. No, no, what God's going to do? God is going to change your heart. He's going to change your heart. See, because God is coming to your heart. We're in a season and we're in an hour where God is bringing change. He is. He's opening up eyes. In other words, he's challenging you. See, some of you, you've been holding on something, onto something. You've been holding on to pain. You've been holding on to hurt. You've been holding on to discouragement. You've been holding on to that melancholy spirit for so long. See, but God is sending a move in your life and in your house where your eyes are going to become open. You're not going to feel guilty. You're not going to feel sad. You're not going to feel melancholy. You're not going to even feel suicidal. See, God is sending you an eye-open experience. That means that you have an encounter. God is going to send you deliverance. God is sending deliverance to your house. God is sending restoration to your house. This is the day of your change. But the way to receive your change is say, God, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. And that's through obedience. See, God has gotten you to a place where you're sick and tired. And now that you're sick and tired, now you understand. In other words, also what God is doing, God is there. This is also an hour of graduation. In graduation, graduation says that at the grade that you are, you've graduated. 
You graduated from the fifth grade. You graduated from the eleventh grade. You graduated from uh, the twelfth grade, and so now you're going to another level. You're going to another grade. And you're going through another chalice. See, now, it, what many of you, what, what's happening now in this transition where God is God is going to take you and God is going to cause you to uh, become stronger. God's going to cause you to become lighter. God's going to cause you to become wiser. Even the Bible said, Jesus said, take my yoke upon me. Take, your yoke, take my yoke upon you. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. See, many of you have been struggling. You've been going through hard times. But I come to hear you. I hear God say, the struggle is over. God wants to make things easy. And the only way you can take make God, God wants to make things easy, God wants you to give it to him. Whatever you're holding on to, give it to them. If it's in your heart that hurt, give it to him. Unforgiveness, give it to him. If you're under stress and under pressure and, you, you, and, and the bills are being backed up and you're tired every month of being in this situation, you're tired of every month of feeling this way, God can send you relief. God can send you relief. God can make things different. See, from now on, what God is sending, you will not worry. From now on, you will not stress over this thing again. See, because what God is doing, God is pulling you away from that thing. See, because when you graduate, you are being brought away. You're being pulled away or you're leaving that place that you're in. And God is taking you to another place or another grade. See, God has taken you to another grade, but at the grade that you're in, you have to become faithful. You have to stay there for a season and a reason. And now that season is over. And so now you can go to that next level. Hear me and hear me well. God is bringing an eye open, giving you an eye open experience. Just like, just like in the book of Kings. In the book of Kings, there was this old prophet and this young, and this young, young servant. And this young servant, uh, the adversary had surrounded this mountain over Elijah and his young servant. And the reason why this, uh, the adversary had surrounded the army, uh, surrounded this prophet is because the king told him to watch him. To watch him. To keep his eyes on him. Keep his eyes on this, this man, this prophet. And, and, and eventually I'm going to get him. I'm, I'm going to bring him to me. And see, the young man, he was, he, was, he was discouraged because he saw the adversary. He saw the mountain. And he saw the, the armies of his adversary surrounding him. And, and he wondered why that Elijah was cool. And so what Elijah did, Elijah prayed unto God and said, God, open his eyes up that he can see what I can see. And the young man, and God opened the eyes up of this young man, and he saw the armies of God uh, ready to fight, ready for battle, and had their sword drawn and fired. What you need to understand and what you need to realize is that God is greater than your situation. See, many of you, you're looking at your situation like this young servant was looking at his adversary. Yeah, the adversary was great. Yeah, the adversary was in a massive number. And he, seen, he felt like he was inferior. He felt like he was small, even as in grasshopper. See, but what did the prophet do? The prophet prayed that that young man could see what was before him as opposed to what was against him. And he saw. And many of you, God is going to open up your eyes and let you see that fear, that, that thing that you're fearing, you think is a, a, a great army. You think that situation is a great army, that relationship. You think that that, 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 that predicament that, that, that you're in, you think is a large army. You think that hurt that you're in is a large army. You think that that rejection that you've experienced all your life, it feels like a large army. You think that those people that, that's been talking about you, that you, you feel isolated, you feel like you're all alone and you feel like uh, you feel like you're all by yourself, it feels like a large army against you. But God's gonna open your eyes up. He's gonna open your eyes up. And you're gonna be able to see as God sees. And when you see it, you're gonna realize that there's greater is he that's for you than he that's against you. Now, in the story of Elijah, you know what happened? Elijah prayed to God. And that whole army that was surrounding him ready to fight, he prayed to God and God sent blindness to his enemies and the enemies couldn't see. See, many of you, the adversary, the enemies, the things that are come up against you, all God wants you is just pray. And when you begin to pray your situation, your circumstance, the thing that you're facing, God's going to cause it to become paralyzed. God's going to cause it to become blind. And you know what's going to happen then? You're going to have the authority of it. See, everything that you go through, God has given you the authority over it, but you got to you gotta go through the process and wait it out. 
You got to wait out your circumstance. You got to wait out where you are. You got to wait out your, your tribulations. You got to wait out your pains. You got to wait out your warfare. Because in you waiting out those things, what's going to happen, uh, you are going, you are getting, there's a download that's being given to you. Your download is being given to you even by your enemy. See, because God's going to call you to defeat your enemy and God's going to give you your enemy's strength. God's going to give you your enemy's authority. That's just like, and I'm going to close out this right here. At one time I was dreaming, I had this dream, I had two th tornadoes and I saw these two tornadoes coming and I looked away and these two tornadoes became one. But before I looked away, these two tornadoes, one represented financial and one represented a relationship. But when I turned away, these two tornadoes became one. And so then these tornadoes got to me and I said, I can't run. I'm going to die. It's going to destroy me. And then all of a sudden I was able to, and I noticed that I was able to look from the eye of the tornado. And God told me that the thing that you thought that was going to destroy you, you took the authority away from it. And you became his authority. In other words, the tornado that was trying to destroy me, the tornado that was trying to uh, get me to become quiet, God gave me the authority over that tornado. God gave me the authority over that situation. God gave me the authority over that relationship. God gave me the authority over that thing that was trying to keep me down. Over my mind, God gave me authority. Over my body, God gave me authority. God gave me the authority. And now, I'm speaking from that place. I'm speaking from that place of pain. I'm speaking from that place of power. Hear me and hear me well. A eye opening experience. God is going to open up your eyes. And so what you need to do is stay right there. And God, in other words, God's going to send you an encounter from him that's going to change your life like never before. Do me a favor. Listen this year. God bless you and have a smile on you. Apologize about the um, technical problems. Anyway, God bless you. Amen. Have a good day. Amen.